Hello, and welcome to the HIV RNA Test Guide podcast, your trusted source for accurate HIV testing information, with access to over 4,500-plus testing labs across the United States. Whether you're looking for quick, confidential results or simply want to stay informed about the latest in HIV research, you're in the right place. For more information, visit HIVRNATestGuide.com, check the link in the description below, or visit the bio section of our channel. In today's video, we're discussing the breakthrough HIV cure trial that shows promising results. A groundbreaking HIV cure trial conducted in Durban has shown promising results in achieving antiretroviral therapy, ART, free virus control. The trial revealed that 20% of participants remained off RT and were virally suppressed one and a half years after treatment. The University of KwaZulu-Natal said these results were presented at the 2025 Conference on Retroviruses and Opportunistic Infections, CROI, currently underway in San Francisco, USA. The study tested a promising HIV treatment approach called combination immunotherapy. The goal was to either eliminate or reduce hidden traces of HIV in the body so the immune system could keep the virus in check without lifelong medication. In the study, researchers treated participants with antiretrovirals soon after they acquired HIV. Once the virus was controlled by ART, they administered powerful immune boosters, which helped the immune system fight the virus more effectively. Under close medical supervision, participants then stopped RT to see if their bodies could control the virus on their own, the university said in a statement. 20 women were enrolled in the trial. Results showed that 30% of participants, 6 out of 20, were able to stay off HIV treatment for nearly a year, and 20%, 4 participants, remained off treatment until the trial ended at 55 weeks. Even after the trial, these four individuals, who are still being closely monitored, have continued without medication for an average of one and a half years. UK's N Professor Thumbi Ndungu, the Director for Basic and Translational Science at the Africa Health Research Institute, said while the treatment approach didn't work for most participants, it is still a significant development in HIV cure research. So how did they achieve this unprecedented success? The study tested an innovative strategy called combination immunotherapy. To understand this, you have to remember why HIV is so hard to cure. Even when you take ART daily, the virus isn't eliminated. It goes into hiding, forming a viral reservoir of hidden traces in immune cells. If you stop RT, the virus floods back. This trial's goal was to either eliminate that reservoir or reduce it enough for the body's own immune system to take over. The process was threefold. First, participants were treated with ART very soon after acquiring HIV. This is crucial because it limits the size of that initial viral reservoir. Second, once the virus was suppressed by the ART, the researchers administered powerful immune boosters. These are designed to wake up the hidden virus and supercharge the immune system to recognize and attack those infected cells more effectively. Finally, under closed medical supervision, the participants stopped ART. This is called an analytical treatment interruption, and it's the moment of truth to see if their primed immune system could keep the virus permanently in check. Beyond the science, this trial carries a profound significance for the global health community, particularly in Africa. This complex, high-level cure research was conducted right in Durban, South Africa, in a setting where the need for a cure is arguably the greatest. This trial proves that sophisticated, cutting-edge HIV cure research can be successfully and ethically carried out in resource-limited settings. It ensures that African populations who are disproportionately affected by the virus are not only included, but are leading these global scientific advancements. For the individuals living with HIV, a functional cure means freedom from the daily burden of medication, the potential for reduced long-term side effects, and a reduction in the stigma that tragically still surrounds the virus. The work of Professor Ndungu and his team in Durban provides immense hope. We will continue to follow the journey of these four women and the invaluable data they are providing to the scientific world. This is a monumental leap, but the search for a widely scalable, affordable cure continues. The work of Professor Ndungu and his team in Durban provides immense hope. We will continue to follow the journey of these four women and the invaluable data they are providing to the scientific world. This is a monumental leap, but the search for a widely scalable, affordable cure continues. Before you go, I have an important message about testing. Knowledge is power, and knowing your status is the first step toward a healthy life, whether you're positive or negative. If you need quick, affordable, and confidential HIV testing across the United States, please visit our partner at HIVRNATestGuide.com. 
Thank you for watching and be sure to subscribe for more vital science updates.